Does anyone here hunt? And even those who don't, maybe you've been outside in the woods by yourself a few times. If so, you know how calming and relaxing it can be just being out there yourself in nature. Either way, there are many reliable sources that prove why I should be able to hunt and why it's good for nature to hunt. And how hunting manages wildlife populations, which in this sense, hunting keeps nature healthy by keeping a healthy balance for the land and carrying capacity of the habitat. Not only is hunting a hobby, but it's also known as a sport. And thing is with sports, safety becomes a huge concern, uh, especially in high school sports. So according to OutdoorsNebraska.gov and National Shooting Sports Foundation, hunting is one of the safest sports. They compared it to 28 other popular sports in America and it, they put it in rank of third for the safest sport because there are less injuries in hunting than there is in golf, volleyball, tackle football, and there are many other popular sports in America. Uh, and hunting also helps quite a bit with the national economy and the way people who hunt and fish contribute um, immensely to the national economy is because the expenditures included in these sports, the expenditures range from licenses, guns, fishing equipment, cost of lodging, travel, and even some of the safety classes they have to take. Uh, with all this combined, a study from the University of Georgia shows that this spending led to more than $70 billion made by the U.S. from hunters and fishers in 2001. To put this into comparison, wildlife watchers spent a little more than half in 2001, racking up around $38 billion. So hunting and fishing are clearly covering the cost. Next is an argument against my point of view that I had seen someone post on debate.org. This person said, it is pointless to hunt animals for the meat and fur for human needs when we have clothes to keep us warm made out of synthetic nylon and polyester or natural plant products like cotton. There is just no reason to wear animal skins in the modern age. With this argument, I would respond using some of the points that I made earlier. First and foremost, hunting makes for a good and cheap way to get food to provide for your family. Also, it's not so much of an argument about if we need what we get after harvesting, animals, although many, if not all, hunters in America use almost all of the animal after killing the animal, but rather that it helps the economy, as I said earlier, and helps nature maintain its carrying capacity of animals. If hunters didn't help maintain this capacity, there, would be not enough, there wouldn't be enough food for the animals because there would be overpopulation. And when there is overpopulation, it usually leads to disease. Disease and starvation would still end up killing the animals, but this time it would be wasted as there would be no one to take the meat or fur. And if it died of starvation or disease, the meat wouldn't be any good to take anyways as the meat may be plagued or there might be little to no meat left. This would be a waste of the animal instead of giving its death a good purpose. Also, when overpopulated animals are starving, according to Sciencing.com, th their natural instincts cause them to wander into unnatural places and search for food. In many cases, overpopulated animals will wander into areas populated by humans. The outcome is animals will be killed on highways and roads, and there's even cases of where they've caused property damage and human injury and certain species may uh, cause a threat to household animals. There are already more than one million animals killed each year as they wander onto the roads and highways. Overpopulating the species would cause even more. Disease also doesn't stay within one species. It can spread to other species that aren't overpopulated. And if disease does spread to the other species that aren't overpopulated, it can put them endangered or even make them go extinct. And this, if that is the case, it would throw the entire food chain off course and lead to many other animal deaths. Overall, America has already seen existing problems of overpopulation of animals. For example, the white-tailed deer. 
These deer have been destroying forests by eating all the indigenous plants and leaving little to no food for other species to eat. <coughs> they have done this along the Mississippi River and all across the Midwest. Indiana, Indiana enacted the first modern firearm season targeting female deer, female white-tailed deer in the state's history. It used to be hunters could only target one white-tailed female deer a year, but now counties can target, or counties have the ability to give hunters the ability to target five to six. They did this due to the crisis these deer are causing to the nature of many states, including Indiana. Either way, you should take into consideration about how hunting is not only moral, but it also helps nature maintain a healthy limit, and therefore you should allow me to get a hunting license.